select each expression that is equivalent to 3 times n plus 6. Select all that apply. Remember an algebraic expression is a math phrase with variables, so letters like n, numbers, and operators. Operators are the things that tell you what to do in the problem, so addition sign, subtraction, multiplication, division, or exponent. Remember that in algebraic expression there's no equal sign. If there's an equal sign, that makes it an algebraic equation. So here we go. Select each expression, now we know what that is, that is equivalent, which means it is equal, to this expression. Select all that apply. This is a very common problem in PARC. It means that there might be more than one answer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is figure out what is this equal to. So right now, I want to expand out this algebraic expression so that I can then simplify it. So if I have multiplication, which is multiplying by 3, multiplication is the same thing as repeated addition. So what that means is I have this phrase, n plus 6, and I'm repeating it 3 times. So really I have n plus 6, and let's see, I'll use the same colors n plus 6. So there's my phrase, and I'm repeating that three times. So this is the expanded form of this expression. All right, and now I can simplify it. So I'm going to combine like terms. So my like terms, my variables raised to the same power. So these are all n to the power of 1. So I'm going to write n plus n plus n plus I have three sixes, so I'm going to write six plus six plus six. So all I did was reorganize everything, and now I'm going to simplify. How many n's do I have? I have three n's. How many sixes do I have? I have a total of 18. So my expression is three n plus 18. Another way to figure that out would be to use a distributive property and multiply 3 times 6 and 3 times n. So 3 times n gives me 3n. 3 times 6 would give me 18. So really I have 3n plus 18, same thing, two different ways to solve. Okay, so now that I have my expression, I need to go back and figure out which ones are equal, which expressions up here are equal to this expression here. At answer choice A, 3n plus 6. Well, 3n is the same, but 18 and 6 are not the same. So A is not equal. I'm going to put a little line through it so I remember. B, 3n plus 18. Woohoo! We got that one. So we have one answer. Ooh, this one's a little bit tricky. It's written out in expanded form. So what I want us to do is regroup. I'm going to show you another way to sort um, your terms in case you don't have colors. So another thing that you can do is draw shapes. So let's say I'm going to put a box around all the terms with an N, and I'm going to put a triangle around all of the constants, so just the, the ordinary numbers here. So now I just need to regroup them, just like I did below. So I have 2n plus another n, so those are my two boxes, plus triangle 2 plus triangle 4. So I have a box plus a box, a triangle plus a triangle. Now I just need to combine my terms, so that gives me 2 plus 1 is 3. Oh, 3n plus 6. 6 and 18 are not equal, so it is not C. So now let's look at D. Ooh, D's a little bit trickier. It just requires us to do an extra step. So I'm first going to distribute. So I have 2 times 6, and I'm going to rewrite it over here. 
and I have 2 times n. This is the same distributive property that we did up here with our original expression. So 2 times n gives me 2n plus 2 times 6 gives me 12. And then I have to add on these terms over here. So I notice that this is an n, so I'm going to use red, and this is a 6, so I'm going to use green. And now I just need to combine my terms. Here I used colors, you could also use the shape method. 2n plus 1n is 3n, 12 plus 6 is 18, which means that answer choice D is equivalent to our expression 3n plus 18. And now we just have to do the last one. So look, it's another distributive. We already know how to do that. We did it here and we did it here. 2 times 6 and 2 times n. So let's start with 2 times n will give me 2n plus 2 times 6 is 12. So right now it's the same as up above plus 1n. Okay, let's combine our like terms. So I have 2n plus 1n is 3n. And then I just have plus 12. 12 and 18 are not the same. They're not equivalent, which means that this expression is not equal. So my final answers are answer choice B and answer choice D.